guys, I'm Mr. Lee Nice here. Hope you're doing well. And I wanted to show you a really cool item that I got here uh, attached around my neck. And this is a Cominga US Military Magnetic Compass. And just got a really just cool story about how I got this compass is I was at the unclaimed baggage store in Scottsboro, Alabama. So if you guys ever go through that area, uh, check it out. It's just a really cool uh, store where there is unclaimed baggage from flights uh, all over the country. It ends up at this uh, location. And when you go there, you can find some really neat items that uh, you, you find stuff that's new, you find stuff that's used. And uh, this was, like I said, a, a Kaminga military uh, compass, and this is a Model 3H. And what's cool about this is it was a fairly heavily used uh, field compass when I got it. So it was probably used by a soldier uh, in either in training or in combat. And uh, you could tell where there was like, um, I have some pictures that I will attach at the end of this video, and you can see how beat up this compass really was. And there was like um, a thumbprint mark where the, the sweat uh, from the soldier's uh, thumb or index finger had eaten through the paint. Uh, a lot of the paint was pretty well done for. So what I had to do when I refinished this is I scraped off and sanded uh, most of the paint off that I could and then I uh, used acetone and I cleared all that off, cleaned the surfaces, then I hand painted, I filled in all the empty areas, and then lastly I took uh, some spray paint and uh, kind of coated everything down and then finished it off with a clear coat and uh, here is a look at the interior the interior was pretty much done for um, looks like probably what happened is all the sweat and everything dripped through the front face of the compass in fact there's here's where the uh, the finger mark was right here on the front and that's all been refinished and it turned out really nice and uh, it's just a really cool piece uh, that I now carry and use out hiking and camping and uh, this is a uh, tritium based compass and I actually filled in with some yellow paint, there's a radioactive symbol. It actually has a, a neat little warning about, uh, let's see if you uh, can read that in the sunlight. There you go, just a warning to not open the back of this case up because the tritium, uh, it still glows. I, would, I think this compass is easily over a decade. Uh, I unfortunately um, marked off some of the numbers, but I think it was back in uh, at least 2004 when this compass was, was made but the tritium still does glow. So this is a really cool piece that I have. I also replaced uh, the lanyard here uh, for like a neck carrier. I used a yellow 550 cord. I also added a cord lock slider on there so you can run your wrist through it, no problem. And uh, just a really cool piece that I have. I can either just put out for display or uh, I like to carry it around my neck a lot. It's fairly heavy, but it's just something when you carry it out, you get used to it. Um, I'm just really happy about how it turned out. It's just a uh, just kind of really pumped about it when I was finally done. I took quite an afternoon of a kind of tedious work because there's a lot of grooves and uh, other areas I had to kind of scrape and sand and uh, it was just a great project. So I love working on stuff like this. So if you guys uh, you know, know anything about compasses uh, like these, uh, please share any information. Uh, I just think it's a really neat uh, fuel compass and I was really happy that the tritium still worked. Uh, got it for a great price. Really good, uh, really good piece that I have now. So if you guys enjoyed the video, Please give it a thumbs up, and also, if you can comment, I'd love to read it and respond. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you can. Have a good one.